All right, y'all. We're going to stay at the transmission back in here. I know my lighting's not very good tonight. Bear with me. There's that collar I showed y'all previously. Why is it in here? Shift the linkage. All right, we're going to move down underneath now. All right, y'all. I'll get y'all underneath here with me. Hey, right, you're not great. That's kind of flashlight sitting down here. Anyway. The sick bolt to hold this thing in. Make sure you put all six of them in if you're racing with it because you're going to need them. There's the bottom side of that pushing I was telling you all about. See how it encapsulates the input shaft housing there. I wish I could get y'all a better view here. Telling y'all about that housing, about being careful not to strip those holes out. Well, the same applies to these. They're not really a good way to retap those those holes, and there's not enough meat there to helical it. So. I go snug and then a quarter turn. <laughs> I've been putting some new videos out with music and stuff on them. Y'all let me know. What y'all think about those two? Alright. Right here. There's a slot for a Woodruff key. There's not a lot of room underneath here. Make sure you put the Woodruff key in it. I'm not going to say any names, but I know somebody that Got in a hurry prepping for a race one time and put the transmission all back together and everything and hauled ass to the racetrack, unloaded the motor, put it in gear to head out for the track to make a run and it wouldn't go nowhere. I'm not going to say no names.
because I'm just not that kind of guy, you know. I'm going to clean this lock collar up real quick before I put it on. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, y'all. I work real hard trying to keep myself neat. Keep my stuff neat and clean. This right here is a just a regular old two bolt lock collar. I'm gonna slide it fully up here. Put a lock collar on. Those of y'all that know me know I'm a fan of Duralast tools. These little ball Allen wrenches come in handy. This is a 5 8 lock collar. What reminded me of the size is it's written right there. We got a little movement there, which is okay. A lot of these things I'm showing y'all on this transmission, you can use on a regular transaxle also. Alright. Put a belt back around it. I'm going to replace this belt. But right now, for demonstration purposes, We'll just go ahead and use it. We'll get some more brake clean up here right there. I want to show you all this real quick. This is what I'm using for, for belt retainers. It's just a 5 16 bolt with a flange nut on it. And when we get back underneath there, you'll see that there's just a nut welded to the chassis and you, I'm just going to screw these I'm going to back this nut, this jam nut off screw these into the nut that's welded to the chassis and then tighten the jam nuts back up these are my belt retainers most of the guys that I know that race this is what they use Let's see if I can slide y'all back under here anyway. I know you can't see it, but there's a nut right there. I'm just going to screw that in there as far as it'll go. I've got three of these here. There you These bolts I'm using for belt retainers, they're just about an eighth of an inch off of the pulley. They're, they're real close. I bottom them out, I bottom them out. I'm 
back with the ramp. And tighten my jam nuts up. A friend of mine used this mower the last time it was run. I was out on the road and couldn't go to the national race and he wanted to race and his machine was tore up so I loaned it to him and he uh, came back with his wire on it. Uh, he's using that for a clutch stop to keep him from over engaging the clutch. I never had an issue with it, but it seems to work, so I'm just going to leave it on there. All right. That is everything back here at this end underneath. I'm going to roll the table over, and we're going to get underneath the front end. So I will see you all in a second.